astonishing new medical science to show you tonight. This is called body mapping. It is changing the way doctors are trained and patients are treated. The story tonight from our chief science correspondent, Robert Bazell. It is a magnificent computerized atlas of the human body and much more. None of this was possible you know, 20 years ago, even 10 years ago. With a simple click of a mouse, you can change the view of, say, a tooth. And just travel down the route, or you can look at it from the side. Dr. Paul Brown of Stanford is developing the program together with a Silicon Valley company called eHuman. For every image, there are digital links not just to the name of the organ, but everything known about it including what can go wrong and how to fix it. So there's no limit to the amount of information, so you can actually make one tooth an encyclopedia of information. Medical students have always learned anatomy by dissecting cadavers, but that is becoming increasingly difficult. Some schools don't have access to cadavers. Others have plastic models. Even if those that have cadaver dives like Stanford, the time is limited. The new program allows medical students to study anatomy without a cadaver and have all the information right at their fingertips. It's really difficult to know what the difference is between nerves versus arteries versus veins, and programs such as these really help you see exactly how things are positioned. The project gathers its images with the latest CT scans of parts of cadavers like the skull. The doctors can scan over and over again. No need to worry about too much radiation for a cadaver. Okay. This gives you the, the full three-dimensional perspective that you need. Bob Austrian, the CEO of eHuman, says the program will benefit others besides medical students. We're building libraries that would be applicable to the learning of K through 8 students and your physician. And Austrian sees another use, similar to flight simulators for pilots. We're heading south now. It's frankly impossible to take dentists and physicians, surgeons of tomorrow through all the different procedures. But with the digital human, doctors can simulate diagnoses and treatments for almost any situation. The links are astounding. Robert Bazell, oh, yeah. NBC News, Palo Alto, California.